You, for some, saying goodbye is easier said than done. Just ask Jeep. Despite the arrival of this all new, second generation you, the brand will keep selling the first generation Compass also as a 2017 model before sending that decade old you to the great scrap heap in the sky. Consumers may be confused. We, however, are happy to bid adieu to the lackluster first generation Compass, as well as its boxier twin, you, you, like its predecessor and short term stablemate. The new compass fits into the 15-4-inch overall length gap between U and its U crossovers. If this hair-splitting strategy seems a bit odd, know that the compass also is intended to serve as a volume seller in many global markets for which the Cherokee is simply too large. Unlike U, though, the redesigned crossover looks and feels like it belongs on the same showroom floor with those rigs built on the small wide 4x4 architecture that underpins the bug-eyed renegade. The new Compass doubles down on the mini Grand Cherokee looks that the original Compass tried to adopt in its 2011 model year refresh. The new one is more handsome and better proportioned, with its slab sides complemented by an attractive shoulder-line kick and a pseudo-floating roof. The latter is painted a contrasting black on the $29. 690 Trailhawk, the black roof treatment also is available on the $25, 390 Latitude and $30, oh nine oh limited trim levels but not on the base $22, oh nine oh Compass Sport. As with most modern Jeeps, the Compass is liberally endowed with Easter eggs, including a molded plastic gecko at the base of the windshield and an imprint of the Loch Ness monster at the bottom of the rear window. You, inside, the new Compass supplants the old one as low-rent interior with modern wares that recall the interiors of the costlier Jeep Cherokee and